Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. There were intense celebrations in Frankfield, Clarendon and on Red Hills Road, St. Andrew this morning. The first day of school since Edwin Allen ran away with a third straight Girls' Champs win and since Calabar recorded its fifth consecutive hold on the boys' title. Edwin Allen ended Champs with 329.5 points while Calabar scored 287.5. And amid this morning's celebrations at Calabar, star athlete Christopher Taylor displayed another performance that reaped loud chairs and won more hearts. Taylor, the winner of four gold medals, handed one of them to his team captain Fabian Hewitt, who failed to win a medal in either the 100 or 200 meters. The health ministry is reporting that the number of confirmed ZV cases has now moved from four to five. In the meantime, the number of swine flu-related deaths is now at six after medical doctor Denise Duncan Goff succumbed on the weekend. More closed-circuit television cameras are to be installed in Mandeville and Montego Bay this year. The move is part of government's efforts to enhance the safety and security of residents. U.S. President Barack Obama, who is now on a historic three-day trip to Cuba, says the economic embargo with the Caribbean island will come to an end, but he cannot yet say when. If you keep on doing something uh, over and over again for 50 years and it doesn't work, it might make sense to try something new. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, there will be isolated showers across northern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.